To find the electron configuration for carbon, we first need to find the number of electrons for the carbon atom. We'll do that by looking at the periodic table, and we'll look at the atomic number. That's the number above the element symbol on the periodic table. It tells you the number of protons, but it also tells you the number of electrons. And that's what we'll use to write the electron configuration for carbon. So we'll use the table on the right to get the correct electron configuration notation. So we'll go down first, the 1s, and s orbitals hold up to two electrons. So we'll put a 2 in there to show we have two electrons in that first energy level, that 1s2 there. Then we'll go down the next 2s, which also holds two. We've used four of the electrons we have for carbon. So we go down the next row here and we have the 2p. And p's can hold up to six, but we only need two more to use all the electrons for carbon. So we'll just put a two there. So the electron configuration for carbon, 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. If you add those numbers up, two plus two plus two, you'll get six. This is Dr. B with the electron configuration for carbon, and thanks for watching.